Asian female, age 21 to 40. She shoves all in for 53,000. We are short stack at our table going to day two. Did some research. We got Martin's Adenia, Magnus, that chick from the big game, and a few other pros. So we're going to do our best to find some good cold four bet spots. Let's get it in. Blinds at 600, 1200. I'm in middle position with A7 of spades. Blind it down to 35,000. Make it 2,500 to go. Two people call in position, and the big blind calls. Flop comes Jack, nine, four, two spades. I think my stack to pot ratio is perfect for a check jam. It's a pretty rare move, and usually pretty damn strong. But two people behind me, I check, and they both check. The turn is a Jack, pairing the board. Big blind leads out for 6,000. He's gonna be doing this pretty wide as everybody showed weakness on the flop. I still have the nut flush draw and ace high, so I put in the call. The two other players fold. The river is a nine, putting two pair on the board. And he fires 15,000. He's repping a jack, maybe a nine. It's more likely since hearts were turned, he could have picked up a heart draw, less likely as a spade draw. And we unblock all straight draws, queen 10, etc. So it's not for our whole tournament. We put in the call, and he shows 10, 8 offsuit. We scoop a huge pot with ace high, and we now have 65,000 chips. Blinds at. 800, 1600. Look down at two red queens in middle position, open to 3500. Action folds to Nadia Magnus on the button. She puts in the call. I've been very active, so I'm ready to four bet this if need be. But we're heads up, and the flop comes queen, eight, deuce, rainbow. Top set. Uh, normally I'd C bet, but I think it's better to under up our hands since we block almost all top pair combos. I check, and she checks. Uh, the previous hand she just double barrel bluffed and got caught so maybe she's still bluff happy the turns a seven the board is a complete rainbow so i think it's safe to check again set the trap i check and she bets 4500 if we were to check raise here uh it would look pretty strong to some people and it also looked like uh, i'm just trying to win the pot after checking twice but I'm tricky, so let's check race to 13.5, standard 3x. She puts in the call. The river's a 10. Uh, I think her calling range on the turn doesn't include any gut shots. I don't think he, she flats six, nine off or suited pre. And I don't think she'll call the check raise with the jack nine with just uh, the pair draw in the gutter. So we put in the bet of 22,000 and she goes deep in the tank. Feels like she's contemplating a jam when she asks to see my chip stack, which I have about 40,000 behind. Does she have a smaller set or two pairs? Is she going for value? Eventually she does put in the fold and we take down a nice pot. I'm in middle position with pocket eights. Raise it up to 3,500. Martin's Adenia calls in the small blind and the big blind calls. Flop comes 10, seven, six, two clubs, one diamond. They check. Uh, it's reasonable to bet here for value and protection, but I wanna play a little tricky in position. Might have to make some thin call downs since we double block the old eight, nine. So we check behind. The turn is a seven, pairing the board and putting a second diamond out there. Now two flush draws. Action goes check. A small 4K bet from the big blind. Uh, I think about raising, uh, get value from all, all the flush draw possibilities. 
maybe 6x combos. Don't think he's ever folding a 10 or definitely not a 7. But I just call, and Martin Zadina goes deep in the tank in the small blind and puts in the check raise to 16,000. Just not buying when he's selling. The big blind folds. I think he can have a lot of just random draws, maybe a nine blocker. And I put in the call, we're taking it to the streets, 16,000. The river's a deuce of diamonds. I do have the eight of diamonds, which reduces the combos of diamonds he could have. But he does check. I don't see any reason to bet for value or turn her hand into a bluff. So I check behind, he shows ace queen, and we take down a nice pot. Two hours in, we started with 43,000. We played the most hands at the table, definitely three bet the most, and we now have 129,000 going to 2K big blind. We're in the zone, let's stay there. As you want, as you want, all right. Blinds at 1,000, 2,000. 2,000 big blind ante, action folds to the button, makes it 4,500, I'm in the big blind with 8-4 of clubs. I'm gonna be defending any suited hand, uh, suited three gappers especially. So we put in the call, the flop comes 7-5-3, all spades. Great flop for my range. We check it to the button and he bets 4,500. Don't wanna call with my gut shot, so we're gonna put in the check raise. 14,000 to go, he goes deep in the tank and Makes it 34,000 with about 25,000 behind. He could have the ace of spades, he could have a made flush, he could just have an overpair. Against this range, we're not doing so well. And I make a disciplined fold. With lines at 1,000, 2,500, the same guy raises the hijack to 6,500. We're on the button with ace eight offsuit with the ace of clubs. Ace X on the button is up one of the best spots to three bet. We've been three betting a lot, so let's do it again. I make it 20,000 to go. He puts in the call. He has about 45,000 behind. Flop comes King, Jack, Deuce, two clubs. Good flop for our range. He checks. I bet 15,000. I do have the Ace of Clubs in case we need to barrel the turn. Buddy folds. Same guy raises the cutoff to 7,000. I'm in the small blind with ace, king, offsuit. He has about 75,000 to start, so we're gonna three bet him again. We make it 27,000. He fake, pumps his whole stack in the middle, and folds. He later expresses that he almost punted his stack in there. He's had enough of my three betting. He said, you poke a bear enough, something happens. Well, next time I poke him, I'm probably gonna have it. Let's get him. Middle position, 60K stack, makes it 6,500. I'm on the button with Ace-King. I make it 20,000, and he folds. Tilted button makes it 7,000. Small blind makes it 23,000. I have 100,000 in pocket fours in the big blind. Pretty good spot for a cold four bet. But I think better of it and fold. Button shove, small blind calls. They end up having the ace king and king jack suited, and I would have lost. Definitely the ace king was calling, so dodged a bullet there. 115,000 going to 1,500, 3,000. Four hours down, four hours to go. Blinds at 1,500, 3,000. Folds me in the cutoff, I have pocket nine, so I make it 7,000. Everybody folds to the big blind, who's a Asian female, age 21 to 40. She shoves all in for 53,000. Nines is near the top of my range, we have recovered. Let's gamble. I call, she has pocket eights. The board comes six, three deuce. Well, Turn is a five. Rivers is seven. And we hold. We now have 170,000 chips.
Lines at 2,000, 4,000. We're under the gun with 240,000 ships and an ace king offsuit, so I make it 10,000 to go. Folds to a young Brazilian male that just doubled up in the middle position. He has to see my stack and makes it 28,000 off a 150K stack. Usually a cut and dry spot, but I think he's pretty strong Ooh. with these positions. <laughs> How's it going? But we got ace king and it's what, 40 blinds, so can't get bluffed off our hand. Not good to just call, so let's get max fold equity and just shove all in as opposed to the four bet indu induce. I shove all in and he asked, did he go all in? Did he go all in? The triangle's in front of me, I'm all in. He says, I call, and he shows pocket kings. The flop comes. Queen, 10, 9. The turn is an 8. And the river is a jack. Ace king versus kings. Cooler. You were so calm, like you knew it was going to happen. Like you made a deal with the devil and was just like, oh, it's coming. It's funny you mentioned that. <laughs> yeah, he has. I'd like to meet my friend Damien. <laughs> we got the seven cards straight, and we now have three hundred eighty thousand in chips. Action folds to Dylan Wilkerson on the button. He hasn't had the best day. Hasn't played too many hands, but he opens to eighty five hundred. I'm in the small blind with. Ace King offsuit. I love Ace King. So I make it 30,000. Big blinds a platinum pass recreational with 70,000. He folds. Dylan thinks about it and shoves all in for 160,000. You know, I'm not folding Ace King with these positions. I call. He has Ace 10 offsuit. Let's hold. The flop comes. Nine, seven, six. Turn is a five, the river's a five. We now have 520,000 ships. I would come back from dinner break and Perky shoves 43,000 from the butt. He's been playing pretty tight. He, he cares about this tournament. He's not just, uh, just because he's a hundred millionaire or whatever, he's not just going to splash around. He does jam the button for eight and a half blinds. I'm in the big blind with ace seven off and 500K, so I can afford to gamble with the ace. He has ace eight. Flop comes king, jack, deuce. Uh, odds are I'll be a chop, especially when a jack hits the turn. But a six hits the river in his eight plays, so I double him up. At 2,500, 5,000, I raised up pocket jacks in the cutoff. Uh, Nadia Magnus is in the small blind with 70,000, and she shoves all in. I, of course, call. She has queen jack offsuit. Flop comes king high. Brick on the turn, 10 on the river. And I eliminate Nadia Magnus, putting me back up to around 550,000. Like, I don't play hold em cash. I don't, I don't have time for that shit. Yeah. It's so boring. I know it. Open jacks under the gun, 14,000. Martin Zadinia uh, calls after asking to see my stack, like he was contemplating three betting. For heads up, the flop comes eight, five, three. I have two black jacks. Uh, normally I'd see bet here. But he's so aggressive and he likes to attack weakness. I think I'm going to set the trap with the jack. So I check. He does bet 16,000. I call. Turns to three, which is a great card that eliminates one of his set combos. My plan is to check call the whole way, but he checks behind. The river's a queen. I check and he fires large, 57,000. What queens are in his range? King, queen, ace, queen, maybe. Or he could just be stabbing with some junk. He's very aggressive and goes for a lot of spots. I put in the call, and he shows ace-queen. 